Welcome back to another video and hopefully you guys have had a lovely half term. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to going back to school, getting ready for the new half term. You've had a lovely holiday and hopefully you know what, you're not looking forward to going back that much because you've had a great time and you've really enjoyed your time off. I know I've had a really busy week off. I've been absolutely non-stop. This is the first time I've sat down and done any kind of work related stuff. So obviously filming these videos, editing them, that all takes a while. Plus I've actually got to get some work done for school. So I'm going to do that probably tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully you guys have a lovely half term and really enjoy yourself. And do let me know in the comments down below what kind of things you've got up to what you're looking forward to about the last half term before we finish the school year at near the end of July which is just mad. So we're looking today at how I look at kind of planning food over the course of a week or a month kind of meal prep that kind of stuff and when I say I do it I do enjoy doing it but a lot of it that we do is also my wife's work and she's fantastic with all the meal planning that we do and making sure it's all set up and lots of the writing you're going to see today is her handwriting because it's far neater than mine but we start off with this okay this is our meal planner this is what we do and we write everything down in it and part of doing all this meal planning well we do it for two reasons first of all we do it for health reasons because we used to be pretty bad with eating lots of takeaway and it fast food and easy eating food that kind of thing and as much as I've always tried to be healthy and do lots of exercise that side of my diet wasn't very good and we used to have a fair bit of that and we do that obviously for health reasons now we would try and make sure we are sticking to our food planet making sure we're cooking lots of food eating lots of nice food and it is going really really well as you're going to see in a bit the other thing we do the other reason we do it is also for monetary monetary reasons so everything is getting far more expensive at the minute you know the cost of living crisis is going on and there's just not that much more money spare money going around add into that obviously my husband on maternity pay we're gonna have to pay for childcare pretty soon for nursery full time so there's lots of kind of different pressures coming on us at the same time and so we're looking at different ways we can do it and hopefully for some of you guys you can help this can help you out too so in our meal planet this is what we use we're about halfway through it now so we do need to look at ordering another one from they're called the pretty perfect products i've tagged them in previous videos talking about what i eat in a day i'll tag them in the bottom of this video too they're brilliant they've got a website they i think my wife found them on tiktok the person that does it i think she might be an ex-teacher as well possibly i can't remember but yeah she's brilliant she's got loads of different types of these we've got a few others that are all on a rack but yeah we go through this and we meal plan at the start of every month and i'm about to show you what we do and how we start that process off. So this is the double page spread that has all of our meals for the entire month of June on. Now I'm filming this day on the Saturday on the 4th of June which it says here we're going to have burgers tonight and you can see here the ticks we've done where we've put in all the different meals. So we start off with some duck breast in wrap, got some spiced chicken wraps, we've got takeaway which we had last night, we had a Chinese last night, burgers, duck legs and chips, shepherd's pie, breaded chicken wrap and then it goes round and round and you can see that actually they do repeat. We've got the same meals every single week and for us it might sound a bit repetitive for some of you, for us because we're not, we've never been big cookers we never cooked a lot and so for us we found enough meals that we like that we can have for every day of the week and then we do just repeat those because for now it works for us it's what we're happy with and we do kind of change up here and there so i know like tonight for burgers well we had burgers on saturday because we had our not saturday so we had burgers on thursday because like you see here it says barbecue we did have some chicken but we also had some other bits because we had some people around for a barbecue so we had the burgers then so instead we've got some chicken wings to have tonight but you can see we substitute like for like things so we're not you know substituting one of these for a takeaway the takeaway was yesterday Today and we've obviously had that well you can see here we do have those booked in every single week as well where we say look we want to take away that week that's the night we're having it we don't always have it last week we just didn't have one we had like what we cooked on the sat on the friday night instead but friday night is a night where if we do have a takeaway that'll be it kind of end of the week celebrate starting the weekend but yeah you can see here this is how we plan out all of our meals and we also put in things to like on in a week's time on the saturday we're going to a ed sheeran concert in manchester so we put that in there and we say look you know we know we're not going to be at home to cook that day so we'll have something out that day and that's kind of substituted for our takeaway that week because we know we'll be eating out somewhere and this is how we plan for the month so we're now going to go on i'm going to turn over because we're going to have a look at what we do each week so this is what we had i think this is last week's food i can't remember yeah this is like this is the week we've just had over half term this is last week's food and you can see we literally plan out every single meal for every single day so in the mornings we've got toast and granola so the granola is what i have in the morning the toast is what my wife has in the morning and we know that's what we have because when we get up we're tired we're not really that bothered about cooking much so we just have something quick and easy rather than obviously going and all Alternatively, when we used before, we had our child would probably go and like order a sandwich or we'd go and have a Morrison's breakfast, something like that. Whereas now we've got these meals here to make sure we're having these. Then at dinner time, we have something a bit more interesting. So my wife does like a good fish finger. So she'll often have that in the dinner time with some veg on the plate as well. I'll have some other things like paella with some spicy pork leftover from barbecue previously. In the freezer, there's some just classic chicken nugget, that kind of thing. And then at the weekend, we do a bit fancy stuff where we have a fry up with bacon sandwiches at dinner time on the weekend just because we're more awake and got more time to cook well. Our baby nap. Oops. 
which is just a bit easier then to get it sorted then as you can see on the dinner time we've got all the things that we use at dinner and we obviously cook all these and have like chips and lettuce with it i'll have some sauce with it my wife is a big fan of sauce but i've got all sorts of things like garlic mayo chili sauce that kind of stuff and then on this side you can see here our shopping list so this is what we get each week and we go through the meals we look in the fridge and the freezer and the cupboard see what don't we have what do we need to get to make all these meals for the week and then we obviously write it down and go and get it and you can see that it adds up to about 50 pound for the week depending on you know that does change sometimes it's a lot cheaper sometimes it's a bit more depending on you know things like nappies mill formula that kind of stuff depending on what we're getting obviously we've got some cowpaw this week so that's always a bit more but yeah it's about 40 to 50 pound a week is our weekly food shop and you can see everything that we've got on that double page spread now the thing i'd like to know from you guys at this point is is that about the same for you i really don't know what a regular weekly food shop is but i think for us between 40 and 50 pound is about what we regularly spend normally it's near a 40 pound but obviously there are weeks when it is 50 or even slightly more than 50 depending on what we're getting like i said but yeah is that about the same for you guys is that roughly what you guys have spent obviously there's two of us plus our he's eight months now and i know as he gets older he's gonna have less of the milk he's gonna be eating more of that stuff so our food shop is going to kind of change slightly but I'd just like to know from you, from your point of view, is that about what you think you'd be spending at this point? If you are in a couple, if you've got a kid, what type of things do you spend? Or what type of things do you do for your weekly food shop? But that is how we kind of organise all the food we eat. And it just makes it really simple. So all those meals are meals that we can have nice and easily. At the end of the day, they take about half an hour, 40 minutes to cook maximum. And most of it is just a little bit of preparation and then put it in the oven or put it in the active fryer or fry it a little bit. It's not very hard to do, which obviously makes it much easier when you're tired at the end of the day. You don't have to do loads of preparation. It's not a meal that takes an hour and a half to prep and then you've got to cook it and you're up all night. It's just nice and easy, done. Once he's gone to bed, we'll have our food and then we'll have a bit of time to chill. That's how we do our food prep. That's everything that we get sorted. The only difference with this is obviously during the week, like you saw when I did kind of what I eat in a day video, which I'll try and link somewhere up there for you all. What I eat in a day during school time does change slightly. So I won't have things like paella or the pork and that kind of stuff during the week. I'll generally make a spag bowl that I'll kind of prep at the weekend i'll put it all into one pan cook it all then separate it off into boxes and i'll have it ready for the entire week so i'm not again having to prep each night for the next day i've got everything done in one go ready for the week but that is how we do all of our food all of our prep all of our planning all of our meals and our food shop and if you'd asked me a year ago would i be in this position if you're sat there thinking you know what, i'd love to be able to do that and actually i just don't see how it's possible then you know what a year ago i would have said there's no way i'd have been doing this i think about a year ago we probably spent about double this amount of money a week on our food shop because we weren't shopping for meals we weren't shopping and we weren't looking at what was in the cupboard before we went shopping we weren't taking a list we always take this book with us when we go shopping now because our list is there and we just buy the things on the list that's it and that doesn't mean to say we live a minimal life you know we still have a snack after tea we'll still have a pudding we'll still have a takeaway on a friday night if we want one that week we just have everything in proportion we limit ourselves to those things we don't go out and have three takeaways every single week like there was a time when we were kind of finishing uni starting teaching where we probably did have that many a week and we just thought you know it's convenience is easy but actually it wasn't very good for us it wasn't what we wanted to do we just kind of fell into a bit of a rut really so if you are kind of at that point you're thinking you know what i don't think i could do that i don't think i can i'm not sure i can't see how it is well just give it a try get something a bit like this planner get something to write down everything in and go for it okay that company the pretty perfect products company their planners are great so i do suggest those ones obviously i know there's loads more if you look on etsy there's hundreds of different copies of them templates of them that i'm sure they're not the first or the last one i'm not there but they are someone that works for us and just have a go see what you can do see what you can make because you might find that you actually can save a lot of money you can get a lot healthier you can be a lot more active that kind of thing and it's all it's really really benefited us so i'd obviously hope for you guys you can too and obviously being a teacher it is really hard work you are really busy you are really tired a lot of the time but it's something we've managed to fit in around being teachers and teaching too hopefully in september we can keep it up obviously when my wife's back at work full time as well but for now it's done really really well so hopefully it's been a bit different video for you guys but hopefully you found this interesting and as always new video on a tuesday a friday and a sunday we're gonna be getting into some more school related stuff as well as obviously more of this lifestyle stuff as we go along so thank you very much for watching this guys and i'll see you very soon